Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about element number 44, ruthenium. In the Middle Ages, a region that includes modern-day Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus was known as Ruthenia. Since ruthenium was discovered and named for this region before germanium was named, a case can be made that it is the first element named for its discoverer's country. But the region known as Rus and discover Karl Klaus's day does not correspond to any modern nation state, so the author doesn't count it. Here's an image of ruthenium chloride. Ruthenium chloride is a vivid red. Here is ruthenium chloride. Here we have the ruthenium atom and the chlorine atom. Here is a side view of the atom. And here is another view of the atom. Here we have the three chlorine atoms. Here the chlorine atom is behind, so I presented two photos of it. This chlorine is right here, and the chlorine is behind there. Ruthenium 3 chloride is the chemical compound with the formula RuCl3, quote unquote ruthenium 3 chloride. More commonly refers to the hydrate RuCl3. Both the anhydrous and hydrated species are dark brown or black solids. Here in the image, the book presents ruthenium chloride as a vivid red, and according to Wikipedia, it's a dark brown or black solid compound. Ruthenium is the first of the precious metals, one of the minor platinum group metals that occur with platinum, element number 78, in ores and share many of platinum's desirable properties. True to its classification as a precious metal, in daily life you're most likely to encounter ruthenium in jewelry as a thin plating that has a darkish gray, pewter-like shine to it. Because of its high resistance to corrosion, plating an incredibly thin layer of very expensive ruthenium onto a much less expensive base metal is more economical than using a solid mass of moderately expensive pewter. But as with most of the platinum group metals, ruthenium's main applications are as a catalyst and an alloying agent. Ruthenium appears in a particularly exotic example. Single crystal super alloys used in high performance turbine blades when mere cost is of little concern. Where ruthenium plating gives jewelry a dark shine, its neighbor rhodium is known for producing a brilliant luster, which we talked about in the rhodium video. If you're interested in learning about that element, the link is in the description below. Other than that, let's continue with ruthenium. Element number 44, symbol RU, atomic number 44, atomic weight 101.07, its color is a silver mirror, its standard state is solid at 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit, its classification is metallic. I'm a secretive element. Not many people have heard of me, and I'd like to keep it that way. I'm a member of the flashy platinum group of metals, but I'm not as expensive as some of them. I'm mainly used in electrical circuits, where my super hardness resists general wear and tear. You'll also find me in the nibs of connoisseur pens. Ruthenium's density is 12.37 grams per centimeters cubed. Its melting point is 2,334 degrees Celsius, or 4,000. 233 degrees Fahrenheit. Its boiling point is 4,150 degrees Celsius or 7,502 degrees Fahrenheit. Ruthenium's date of discovery was in 1844. Here's a map of 1844 CE. Many new uses are emerging for ruthenium. Most is used in the electronics industry for chip resistors and electrical contacts. Ruthenium oxide is used in the chemical industry to coat the anodes of electrochemical cells for chlorine production. Ruthenium is also used in catalysts for ammonia and acetic acid production. Ruthenium compounds can be used in solar cells, which turn light energy into electrical energy. Ruthenium is one of the most effective hardeners for platinum and palladium, and is alloyed with these metals to make electrical contacts for severe wear resistance. It is used in some jewelry as an alloy with platinum. Because of its high melting point, ruthenium is not easily cast. Its brittleness, even at white heat, makes it very difficult to roll or draw into wires. Thus, the industrial application of metallic ruthenium is restricted to use as an alloy for platinum and other metals of the platinum group. Processes for isolating it are an integral part of the metallurgical art that applies to all platinum metals. It serves the same function as iridium for the hardening of platinum and, in conjunction with rhodium, is used to harden palladium. Ruthenium hardened alloys of platinum and palladium are superior to the pure metals in the manufacture of fine jewelry and of electrical contacts for wear resistance. The Polish chemist Jedzarek Zinedeki was investigating platinum ores from South America and in May of 1808 when he discovered a new metal which he called it Vestium. However, when French chemists tried to repeat his work, they were unable to find it in the platinum ore they had. When Zinedeki learned of this, he believed he had been mistaken and withdrew his claim. 
Then, in 1825, Gottfried Ossen of the University of Dorpat, now Tartu, on the Baltic, investigated some platinum from the Ural Mountains and reported finding three new elements which he named Pluranium, Polonium, and Ruthenium. While the first two of these were never verified, the third, Ruthenium, was genuine and in 1840, Karl Kolchevik Klaus at the University of Kazan extracted, purified, and confirmed it was a new metal. He kept Ozen's name of Ruthenium. Ruthenium RU chemical element, one of the platinum metals of groups A through 10, period 5 and 6 of the periodic table, used as an alloying agent to harden platinum and palladium. Silver gray ruthenium metals looks like platinum, but is rarer, harder, and more brittle. The Russian chemist Karl Kolovich Klaus established in 1844 the existence of this rare bright metal and retained the name his countryman Gottfried Wilhelm Ozen has suggested in 1828 for a platinum group element whose discovery had remained inconclusive. Ruthenium has a low crystal abundance of about 0.001 part per million. Elemental ruthenium occurs in native alloys of iridium and osmium, along with other platinum metals, up to 14.1% in iridizome and 18.3% in ciscite. It also occurs in sulfide and other ores, e.g. in pentalodite of the Sudbury, Ontario, Canada nickel mining region, which we talked about in the nickel and the copper video. If you're interested in learning about those elements, the link is in the description below. Ruthenia, the Latin name for Russia, inspired this rare element's name. Ruthenium is used in turning coal into the liquid fuel petroleum, in x-ray machines, and in making solar cells, devices that turn sunlight into electricity. Here are laboratory refined crystals of pure ruthenium. Ruthenium's atomic mass is 101.07, its state is a solid, and its discovery was in 1808 by Gerdesi Sinadecki, in 1825 by Gottfried Ossen, and in 1844 by Karl Kolchevich Klaus. These individuals discovered ruthenium individually, and they all came to the same conclusion of it being element number 44. Ruthenium is one of the rarest metals on Earth. It is found uncombined in nature. However, it is more commonly found associated with other platinum metals in the minerals pentalodite and pyroxenite. It is obtained commercially from the wastes of nickel refining. Again, if you're interested in learning about the element nickel, the link is in the description below. I made a full video for the element nickel. Ruthenium is found among the fission products of uranium and plutonium in nuclear reactors. Radioactive ruthenium-106, one-year half-life, and its short-lived daughter, rhodium-106, contribute an important fraction of the residual radiation in nuclear fuels a year following their use. Recovery of the unused fissionable material is made difficult because of the radiation hazard of the chemical similarity between ruthenium and plutonium. Natural ruthenium consists of a mixture of seven stable isotopes. Ruthenium-96, 5.54%, 1.86%, Ruthenium-99, 12.7%, Ruthenium-100, 12.6%, Ruthenium-101, 17.1%, Ruthenium-102, 31.6%, and Ruthenium-104, 18.6%. All of those percentages should add up to 100%. It has four allotropic forms. Ruthenium has a high resistance to chemical attack. Ruthenium is, with osmium, the most noble of the platinum metals. The metal does not tarnish in air at ordinary temperatures and resists attack by strong acids, even by aqua regia, which again consists of the elements hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen in the form of nitric acid, and hydrogen and chlorine in the form of hydrochloric acid. It could also be hydrogen chloride gas when it's distilled into a liquid, it forms an acid, which we identify as hydrochloric acid. When those two combine, they create aqua regia, and when ruthenium and osmium combine, they create a resistance to aqua regia. Ruthenium is brought into soluble form by fusion with an alkaline oxidizing flux, such as sodium peroxide, Na2O2, especially if an oxidizing agent, such as sodium chlorate, is present. The green melt contains the pararuthenate ion, ru 4 negative On dissolving in water, an orange solution containing the stable ruthenate ion, ru 4 2 negative usually results. Ruthenium has no known biological role. Ruthenium-4 oxide is highly toxic. The negative 2 and 0 through plus 8 states are known, but plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 6, and plus 8 are most important. In addition to carbonyl and organometallic compounds in the low oxidation states, negative 2, 0, and plus 1, ruthenium forms compounds in every oxidation state from plus 2 to plus 8. Very volatile ruthenium tetroxide, ru 4 used in separating ruthenium from other heavy metals, contains the element in the plus 8 oxidation state. 
Ruthenium tetroxide is the inorganic compound with the formula RuO4. It is a yellow volatile solid that melts near room temperature. It has the odor of ozone. Samples are typically black due to impurities. The analogous OSO4, seen here to the left, is more widely used and better known, according to Wikipedia. Its formula again is RuO4. One atom of ruthenium combined to four atoms of oxygen, seen here in this image. Here it is closer. Although ruthenium tetroxide, RuO4, has similar stability and volatility to osmium tetroxide, OSO4, it differs in that it cannot be formed from the elements. The chemistries of ruthenium and osmium are generally similar. The higher oxidation states of plus 6 and plus 8 are more readily obtained than for iron, and there is an extensive chemistry of the tetroxides, oxohalides, and the oxoanions. There is little, if any, evidence that simple aqueous ions exist, and virtually all its aqueous solutions, whatever the anions present, may be considered to contain complexes. Numerous coordination complexes are known, including a unique series of nitrosyl NO complexes. So that was ruthenium explained in as a short amount of time as possible, in X minutes or less. If you're interested in learning about the previous videos, the link is in the description below. Other than that, I'll continue making videos in the future. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, thank you everyone for watching. Have a great one.